Before we start the video, just like to take the opportunity to remind everybody I have an email subscription list. The links for the sign up are in the description to the video below. So um, click the link, go over there, sign up, and I can keep everybody up to date with the latest projects and uh, artwork and videos, but also my latest book, which will be out early next year. It's uh, based around a very different version of death than we've seen in pop culture so far. He's coming out of retirement to help a transformed human soul to stop an ancient enemy from invading the earth dimensions with his demon horde. It's action, adventure, pathos, and heart all the way in this story. It's definitely got its feet firmly based in the Bronze Age and it's all ages. So um, check that out and uh, I'll be able to give you more information about that and the crowdfunder on that if you're part of the email list. Uh, I'll also make sure there's an extra perk in the crowdfunding for anybody who is on the email list. So with that, thanks very much for listening and on with the video. Hi there, welcome back to the dojo. This is Russ Leach, I am the comic book Black Belt. And this video is one of a series of videos about the uh, Ben 10 uh, comic strip production. Um, uh, so uh, I, I produced uh, 13 issues of comic strip uh, for Ben 10, uh, for a Ben 10 magazine produced by Cartoon Network and Panini in the UK. And uh, this is effectively me cataloguing how uh, my production for those pages uh, grew, got slicker if you like, over the 13 issues. Um, this is uh, issue 9, um, I believe. Is that right? Issue 9, I think it is. Yes. And. Um, uh, by now I've really kind of got into my stride uh, you can see from the, 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 the layers and that uh, I've really uh, structured it so that I, I you know once I've got through the pencils and into the inks and my color work um, I'm laying down basically foreground characters foreground elements then background elements uh, as you can see I've, I've been able to nick uh, certain stuff from the show itself so uh, sometimes I'll paint my own backgrounds and other times I'll be able to reuse backgrounds from the actual show and, and that, that all made the, the strip look that much more um, uh, connected to the show it was it was all kind of one feel uh, I wanted to make sure that you were the, the the reader would feel like they were looking at the show in comic strip format even though they were brand new stories that that it really hit the same style as the show and and i feel like i pretty much did that um so there's lots of uh stuff going on here again um you can see we've got foreground elements midground elements background elements and then uh special effects and shading over the top of those um and uh, I was quite pleased. I think it, it, it worked quite well. It was bright. It was fun. And uh, the stories definitely jumped off the page. I did special effects as well, so I would do some uh, lettering from that perspective. I, I, I didn't do the, uh, the script lettering, just uh, the special effects. So you, you can see running through the, the pencil sketches and the pencils. And uh, I'll just pop up the inks. And uh, again, you can see where um, on the fire there, where I or on the water, on the sweat on on uh, Uncle's uh, Uncle Ben's face. It, it, it's um, I'm using different coloured inks. I'm not just using the the, the black line. Um, and that again, that was where I'd got gotten to within the process, where I, I could kind of pick out prior to going to inks which portions of those inks I was just going to do in coloured ink rather than in black ink and then have to change it in colour at the end anyway. Um, I really enjoyed this page, lots of fun on this. Uh, again, the water and the fire having their own ink colours rather than... Um, uh, and also on on uh, the Ben 10 Alien as well, um, you know, knowing where those colours were going to be so I didn't have to mess around with them. At color stage, I could just uh, just do those at the inking stage, and again, all of this sped up the whole process. Um, really made it a lot easier to produce. 
very pleased with that page. Quite, uh, quite dynamic, lots of action going on, lots of fun. And into page six, and uh, more of the same, really. Straight through those sketches. Uh, see that I'm picking out the um, the, anat the anat anatomical aspects of it, just to make sure that those characters look right. Even though this is very cartoony, you still have to make sure you get the the uh, um, the theory of anatomy and the way people and animals move you, you have to understand that in, in fact in some ways it makes it more difficult when it's a very cartoony style um, but uh, you want to get that pace and action and energy uh, from the moving characters and uh, get that into your your pencils and inks before the colors get laid down uh, again, you see some uh, reuse of um, show uh, assets there in the background. And then on to page seven. It's an eight page strip every month. Uh, so I do pencils, inks, and colors, and uh, has done some special effects design on that as well every month. But I, I got that down to just a, uh, just over a week of work every month. So that, that really uh, worked well for me. And um, I was quite pleased with uh, how I'd got the process to a point that um, that it became, you know, quite reasonably slick. Again, it's, it's you know these are flat colours uh, with with some shade and highlights put on them, but they were still they still worked. I felt, um, and uh, I was very pleased with the outcome. That's for sure. And Cartoon Network were very pleased with it as well. And and like I was saying, the most important thing to me was to make it feel like it was the comic strip of the show so uh that was that was the most important thing so hopefully um you know my press process is of some use to you and uh it can help uh, you in some way or, or you've just enjoyed seeing the way that i put those pages together so that's about it for this video uh, if you've already subscribed, thank you so much for being a subscriber. If you haven't, why not? Just hit that subscribe button, like and share. If you could share these videos out, they really help me out with the algorithm on YouTube. And uh, that's about it. So um, I'll be back with another video real soon. And uh, uh, in the meantime, make sure and sign up for the email subscription list. That would be really, really helpful. So I can keep you informed about my latest book and all the stuff that's going on with the channel. So uh, I'll see you again in the dojo real soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching Comic Book Black Belt. If you've enjoyed the content from this video, please like, share or subscribe and come over and follow me on Twitter. It's been great having you in the dojo. See you again soon.